Hey guys, it's me, Mr. 250, and welcome back to Trauma Team. Um, so I know I keep saying this, I had to say it for one of my other videos, but I'm trying out a new recording setup here. Um, just a different microphone placement is what I mean. If this works, this would make setting up for between like doing computer recording and, uh, you know, game, re like a uh, console recording, so much easier. So. I'm gonna try this, because the other one involved I had to go get a different microphone stand and unhook the old, the microphone from the other stand, and it was pretty tedious, the whole process. So hopefully this will work. We're gonna try it out. So uh, I was also told that uh, I could continue on with like part two of this mission. That was okay, and then uh, I should now, because we're getting close to the end of the separated sections, I should now start to start going vertically down for each character's section. We'll probably start with Gabe here because he seems to sort of be the starting point of a lot of our other operations for other people. He diagnoses them and then they treat them. So I think we'll start with him, but first I want to get this done because we pretty much started this mission last time, but we didn't really finish it. Won't last long. I don't care where. Just find a place. Oh, she's There's alive? No wow. It's far, but I'm heading for Resurgo. Just a little while longer. Hang in there, Alyssa. Alyssa, how are you even remotely alive right now? That's surprising. I, I was yes, for sure she was dead. Well then. Are we in a dungeon right now? Why is it so dark down here? This is this is creepy. No. Uh oh. Don't go off. She's going uh -oh. to live. She has to live. Uh oh. Same good. Please, Alyssa. You've got to live. You gotta answer the phone. You gotta figure out what it is. I promise that I'll save her. It stopped. He certainly is an enigma, isn't he? He only recently arrived here. He's been through a lot. There's no need to worry. He'll definitely save Alyssa. Definitely? Yes. And we'll do our best too. Besides, if you keep looking so sad, Alyssa will surely laugh at you. Oh, Dr. Kimishima, where are you going? You're absolutely right. Right now, I don't even deserve to be laughed at by her. I... I'll leave this to all of you. Alyssa, I'll be back. It's Naomi. Take it down a notch, little guy. Talk to me. Oh, uh, excuse me. I was worried. It's okay. Has the FBI contacted you? I want information. Uh, right, yes. Uh, I've made arrangements to have it sent to us. Great. Send a helicopter over to take me back. You won't get away. I swear I'll catch you. Uh oh, now we got revenge on the mind. Dr. Kimishima, are you really alright? I'm, no, I'm just thinking about this now because uh, I was told that, I think I was told this mission was the mission that leads up to a mission for, uh, what's his name? CR, whatever his face, yeah. That guy, surgeon guy. <laughs> that, uh, he. I needed to do this mission before I did that, and I can sort of see why, because otherwise I'd get, you know, a, a pretty big spoiler into this, this in the previous mission. I'm fine. Let's sort out what's happening. Any new information? Uh, well, about that, we couldn't find any usable clues from the scene. We did obtain the signed delivery form, but... Go on. Right. Only your 
footprints and the delivery persons were found. Here. Is delivery person one word? Huh. I guess so. You amaze me. You still don't get it, do you? Uh, what do you mean? Do you really think there aren't any clues to the bomber? <gasps> did you figure something out? Of course I did. That's why I'm here. <sighs> why are you being so quiet all of a sudden? No, it's nothing. It's just that... Just what? It's like the old Dr. Kimishima I knew is finally back. That's enough of that, Agent. There's no time to lose. Yeah, Agent. We got autopsies to do and stuff and people to depend on. Little guy, let's go over the information that we have so far. This guy blew people up. Uh, right. And he blew up Alyssa. The revolutionary, Stephen Eldred, was not, in fact, the raging bomber. Okay, so we've confirmed that Stephen Eldred was the revolutionary, but he wasn't the raging bomber. That's right. The real bomber placed an explosive inside a stuffed animal. And then sent it to you, Dr. Kimishima. Let's trace the delivery back to its source immediately. If we can find out where that package came from, we'll find the bomber and then... There's no need for that. Huh? W why? Hmm. Don't you think there's someone much more suspicious? I think they would have known that we were supposed to be receiving something from Gabe if it was addressed from Gabe, so shouldn't we figure out... Because I don't remember when, but we talked to him at some point. Shouldn't we figure out what's going on around that? I believe that the person who is most likely to be the bomber is... What? Oh, yeah, the delivery woman, probably. We already know it's not that. I don't think it's the man from Loan and Taxes. And Adian Posner died, right? <laughs> so it'd have to be one of these two. Delivery woman seems likely. And we never gave this guy any information as to what we were doing, as to that we were getting something from Gabe. I would think. Huh? Don't tell me. And it's likely the delivery person would be in on it, especially considering that they didn't have the whatever pin pad signy thing. Indeed. The person who delivered the package is most suspicious. Even if they're not the Raging Bomber, I feel like they've got to at least be connected to them. Then the Raging Bomber personally handed you the bomb? Isn't that too dangerous? I have proof. We couldn't really tell off her voice. The carbon dust, I guess, is the likely one, right? Is the carbon dust used in bomb making? Is that why? Cool. Right. I good. I got carbon Hi. dust on my hand when I signed for the delivery. Oh, That's I see. That's because the delivery person said that the digital pad was broken. Aiden and Stephen, the other victims that we examined. Was it, was it because... Both of them also had carbon dust on their Is it because they were writing? I see. That explains why the carbon was only on their dominant hands. They signed for it, and that got yes. carbon on their hands. In other words, the bomber killed the other two victims in the same way that I was targeted. Okay, okay then. The fact that the delivery person was female also points toward her culpability. What do you mean? It's always uh, the women. Don't you get it? It, of course, it thing. makes so much sense now. How did the bomber hide her true identity? Stuffed animals? How did mm. they do that? Um. Oh, the revolutionary. Yeah, he used him as she like a friend Stephen or Eldred whatever. To make the bomb threats for her, but even this was a trap. That's because. His voice was unprocessed? Yeah, okay. Yes. She let Steven's voice go out unprocessed on purpose. Was it so we'd find him? So the bomber wanted us to think... Everything she did was an act, and we were fooled. We were all led to believe that the raging bomber was a young man. So this was all, this was all a big setup in order to give us misinformation. I see. If that woman is the bomber, then it all makes sense. Indeed. 
On the other hand, there's another mystery that we can't solve just yet. That is... It's one of these two. Yes. The bomber was using the revolutionary character as a cover to protect herself. Maybe we were getting too close to the truth so he had to be eliminated kind of thing? Why then would she kill him? Little guy. Huh? What? What happened to Alyssa's house? Oh, unfortunately it completely burned. Then the building collapsed. It's useless as a potential crime scene now. I see. Then I'm going to investigate the revolutionary's room one more time. Again? Well, we didn't really go for fingerprints or blood or anything. Yes, but now I know what I'll be seeing. You look into those deposits. The ones in two Stephen Eldred's accounts? Okay, I'll get started on that right away. Delivery form. Okay, are we maybe... It's the bomber female. Are we trying to see if we can find a similar delivery form there? I'm going to catch her. That's my only way to atone for what happened. I almost feel like I did see something like that there. I'm not sure, but let let let's take a look. I mean, I mean that's what we're supposed to do, but I've let's see if I can find any paper before. or something. I can't just rush around now and expect to find new information. What we need now is more information about the raging bomber. If the same method was used to deliver the bomb here as was used to get the other bomb to me, the area with the most clues would be near the entrance. Yep, I thought I saw a paper. Here it is, the delivery form. I thought I saw a paper. If the bomber did send this, there's a chance that this form has some important evidence. I did think it was odd that we didn't really seem to investigate the area around the bomb too much, or any of the debris other than that one guitar. But that, that was just a little weird to me. I thought we weren't looking hard enough, and it turns out that we weren't. <laughs> that would be... Yes. Okay, fingerprints. Right. We may be able to lift some fingerprints from it. Let's see if we can. Or are we supposed to do that, like, in the lab? Okay, I guess. Hello there. Hmm. This is a human hair. It's about 40 centimeters long. No, it couldn't possibly be the revolutionaries. Oh, ho. There we go. That's probably going to be helpful. This needs further investigation. He, I mean, he seems like a nerd. I doubt he has many women over or anything. You know, he's got the computer and... Yeah, he's probably a nerd. Um... Yeah, what about down here? What's this? The shoes. Guess we should wave our light around some more, see if we find anything of interest. This computer, we should probably look into the computer some more, right? I don't think I'll find anything new. They didn't say what we've seen everything here, they usually say that before we're done. About the explosion area itself. Mm, right. Ah, there we go. If that woman delivered the bombs to both of us in the same fashion, then she would have left footprints at the entrance. Would she? Stephen was the revolutionary and was male. If the delivery person was female, her footprints would definitely be different. Let's look for footprints that differ from Stephen's. Okay. Well, it looks like, uh, these look like work boots, I'm just saying, and if he's living here, he probably traverses this a lot. There is, uh, something right about here. Well, actually, here, too. 
that looks like pointy shoes. I doubt he has many pointy shoes. Yes. This footprint is definitely different in size and pattern from the others. Even if even if the um even if the delivery person isn't the bomber themselves, at the very least, it should lead us somewhere, I would imagine. Let's collect this print and send it for analysis. Alright, cool. Got everything. I think yeah, it just it just it just seemed like we hadn't quite gotten everything yet. Of course, then again, I bet evidence is pretty hard to pull from an exploded room. <laughs> Alright, so what can we do here? Delivery woman left her fingerprints on it. Oh. Okay. We can put the two forms together, right? Apparently not. Um, what about the hair? Can you tell me anything about this hair, little guy? Sure, give me a moment. What's the matter? Well, this hair is dyed black, but it's actually a red hair. Ooh. Red hair. Can you tell if it belonged to the bomber? No, I'd need some DNA from the bomber to compare it to. Of course. But there's a good chance that this hair does belong to the bomber. Huh. Why is that? Uh, this is hardly conclusive evidence, but here's something you may not know, little guy. Only 2-3% to of people in this country are true redheads. It isn't a common color at all. It's not conclusive, but... So, how is this related to this case? It's, um... Think about it. That hair's been dyed, hasn't it? It's definitely right, something. If that hair is the bomber's, as I suggest, what reason would she have to dye it? Well, to make herself less noticeable. It would be... It would be to be less noticeable. Natural color stands out a lot. That's right. Having red hair is an obvious identifying feature. If there happened to be any witnesses, her identity would be easy to discover. Isn't it plausible to think that this might be why the bomber would dye her hair black? I see. That hypothesis does make sense. The dye used seems to be a temporary coloring agent as well. Hmm. So the dye is meant to be washed out. Uh, so all we have to do is just start washing people's hair and we'll figure it out. If that's the case, she could change her hair color with every delivery to create conflicting witness accounts. That would make her hair part of her costume as well. Yes, but until we can prove that hair belongs to her, this is all just speculation. I know. We need something to match her DNA with in order to do that. It's a decent theory, anyway. Let's keep gathering what information we can. Got it. I'll let you know immediately if anything else comes up. Something to keep in mind. Alright. Is the bomber a female? I guess we could match the hair. Maybe not yet. We still have the two deceased voices. Hey, little guy. I need this footprint analyzed. Alright, hang on a moment, please. I see. Did you discover anything? Yes, the footprint is 27 centimeters in length, so... We should expect this person to be between 170 to 180 centimeters tall. Does the size of... Does the size of your feet determine how tall you are? The woman who delivered the bomb to me was about that tall. Well, yeah, but isn't that a pretty average height there? What is that? Yeah, quick conversion tells me that's about 5.9 feet, so... That's not really especially uh, extraordinary. <laughs> I also compared the pattern on the print to the FBI's shoe print database. The FBI's a shoe print database? Great. Can you narrow it down to a specific store? Well, there aren't that many stores that carry this brand, but it's still over a hundred. I can narrow it down, but it's going to take some time and a lot of effort. Well, do the best you can. I'm going to keep investigating. Understood. I'll contact you once I've found anything out. Well, maybe we'll uh, we'll figure that out later. Really, you can figure out someone's height. I'm I'm assuming that they're getting the shoe size, and then they're probably subtracting just a little bit, considering that shoes are slightly bigger than feet in most cases. <laughs> but still, to think that is that is that even a thing? I didn't even I never even considered that. The 
bomber female. Why was the revolutionary killed? Probably, yeah, to hide. He was killed probably because maybe he was getting too close to the truth, or maybe we were getting too close to the truth, one of us. Oh, we have more, we have more, oh, deduced height. Okay, I guess that's useful, somewhat. I found this. Can you analyze it, little guy? Huh. A delivery receipt. Don't tell me. It's very likely. It hadn't even crossed my mind until now. Right. I'll send it to the lab, so it'll take a while. We don't have any, like, fingerprint powder lying around? Uh, Dr. Kimishima. Okay. The results of the analysis on that delivery form have come in. Did they find anything? Sure did. There were two sets of fingerprints on the paper. One of them is Stephen Eldred, the revolutionary. He'd be the recipient. The other set belongs to somebody else. What a... What a novice mistake. Should have been wearing gloves. Well, common sense dictates that they'd have to belong to. Let's not start jumping to any conclusions. We need to find out who left those fingerprints. Okay. Can we match them now? Huh. Yes, there we go. Two can be placed together. Little guy, could I bother you for a moment? Yes, of course. What is it? I want you to look at the fingerprints on the delivery form Stephen and I were presented with. Compare any prints you find that don't belong to either Stephen Eldred or myself. No problem. I'll just be a moment. What did you find? Are there any matches? A complete match. There's no mistake. These are from the same person. There you go. Good. This is proof of another important fact. Both forms have two sets of prints. One from the recipient, and another from... The delivery person. That's right. The other set of prints is from the person who delivered the package. If the fingerprints match on both forms, then the person who delivered the bomb to the revolutionary was... Same delivery woman. Uh, Dr. Kimishima. It turns out that this woman... Let me guess. She doesn't exist, right? Uh, right. We've contacted all the delivery companies that work in this area. Well, I figured that much. None of them can confirm having an employee that fits our description. And of course, none of them have any records of a package being sent to you that day either. Do you think the woman making the deliveries is the Raging Bomber? Not necessarily, but she either is the Raging Bomber or she's working with mm, the Raging Bomber. I can't be sure yet. She might be another person being used like the Revolutionary was. We'll figure that out as we continue with the investigation. Still, I would imagine right. that... In any case, we'll need to keep that woman in mind. Whoever the bomber is probably enjoys bombing things, so it might be of interest to them to be near the explosion when it happens. How about the fingerprints? Did you compare them to anything in the FBI's criminal database? Of course I ran them through the system. No matches, though. You're useless, little guy. You're the useless. This is the raging bomber. She's a complete newbie. That's an awful thought. Someone with no criminal record at all. And she's already killed four people with these bombs. That seems to be the case. This might turn out to be one tough murder spree to end. As long as she doesn't blow you up, it'll be okay. Just don't, don't accept any you more packages. You want to avoid saying things like that in the future? Oh, oh, uh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we've figured out how she was delivering the bombs. Yes, let's try summarizing what we know of the events in this case. First, the bomber prepared a bluff to hide behind while she committed the crimes. That bluff was... The Revolutionary? What is this message card yes, thing that keeps the coming revolutionary, up? Revolutionary, Stephen Eldred. The bomber had Eldred make the bomb threats over the phone. She had him use his own voice with absolutely no processing to attempt to conceal it. Because of this, the bomber misled us into believing that the killer was male. On the other hand, the bomber used the names of people close to the targets to send the packages. She did that to make her targets feel less suspicious about the deliveries, right? Okay, that makes sense, yes. yeah. That makes All sense. All bombs were set to explode in close proximity to the target. It's likely that what triggered the explosion would have been... Opening the box, right? Indeed. 
If the bomb was set to go off when the package was opened, it would explain the wound patterns. Still, that's not what she did in my case. She used a time bomb for me. That does seem odd now that you bring it up. Why would she do that? Is she trying to it injure the girl? makes a lot of sense if you think about it. What's that supposed to mean? Don't you get it? It's because... Either Alyssa was the target, which I kind of doubt, or to give her time to escape. Was Alyssa the target, really? No, okay. How could I do with that? Then anticipating heavy security. You think she was thinking that far ahead? Let me ask you, investigator. If someone assisting the FBI appears in a tabloid, What's your by-the-book response? Um, we'd increase security around you to prevent the killer from striking at you. Exactly. In fact, the security at CIFM was heavier than usual. The bomber had to be sure that I would be killed by the blast. If there had been a baggage screening at the entrance and the lid was opened there... It would explode. It would. She predicted that her present would never reach me. I see. So that's why the package didn't go off the moment it was opened. Yes, and she even put a note inside the package. So she expected you to be. Re she, she expected to you to read it. I would be near the bomb when it went off. And she gave you something to read so that it would it would explode while you're reading it. I guess. I would have been. She's a tough one. This is the kind of mind we're dealing with. The question remains: Was the woman who delivered the package the bomber or not? From the evidence we have, she's definitely the most suspicious character at this point. Still, this whole thing about taking such a risk to deliver the bombs herself. And if she was the bomber, wouldn't the revolutionary have noticed before he was killed? That's possible. However, that would only happen if the revolutionary knew her face. Yeah, if he was an internet nerd and she contacted him via internet, uh, that might have not happened. happened in Eldred's room. The bomber sent her messages via the computer. Perhaps the revolutionary only knew the bomber from the internet. And this is why you don't make internet friends, people. They'll send you a bomb and explode you. Still, would somebody really deal with someone they've never even seen? Our technology gets better and better, but people can remain as naive as the day they were born. But, why did the bomber kill the revolutionary in the first place? Oh, I had something to report. I almost forgot. Can you not suddenly yell like that? Yeah, sorry. It's about the revolutionary. We looked into his financial records. It seems there were periodic deposits into his accounts. And where These were they from? perfectly coincide with another series of events. Ooh. Really? Hmm. Let me guess, it was... Bomb threats? Absolutely correct, Dr. Kimishima. Every time he made a bomb threat, he got a deposit? <sighs> of course I am. Continue. same dates as the bomb threats. $5,000 for the first three times, and $10,000 for the fourth time. The last one was double the others? Oh, yes, there's no doubt about it. Hmm. After that deposit was made, the bomber targeted the one who made the threats for her. Could the change in the amount of money be related to the revolutionary's killing? 